Eclectic Soul Podcast. I am Jen. This is Jen. Hello, everyone. Hello. So, Jen, we're going to be talking about our show that we got coming up, aren't we? Yes. Yes. We got a show that we're going to be doing. Um, we're going to be singing for a winter solstice, and we can't wait. <laughs> So we're like getting ourselves out there. It's been a couple of years since we've sang. Yeah. So we're we're gonna be working on some songs this weekend uh-huh. and you know, getting harmonies down and whatever we gotta do and picking out what songs we're gonna do mm-hmm. and get cracking because we ain't got a whole lot of time. Twenty <laughs> first is right around the corner. <laughs> So, but, um, yeah, winter solstice is one way of bringing in, you know, the longest night of the year Mm -hmm. where the earth finally goes into a deep slumber until Bridget comes and wakes us up. Uh Uh-huh. So, but, um, so like, uh, we've said this before and if you've been listening to us since day one, um, Jen and I are both pagan, um, we both also know what it is to be, you know, raised in a, a Catholic setting type home and whatnot. Um, but we are our own individuals and uh, we're, we're, we're eclectic soul for a reason because we are eclectic. We take from different spiritualities, um, cultures, cultures mm-hmm. and stuff like that because uh, unity is a big deal. And... Mm-hmm. There's a little of us from past lives all mm-hmm. entangled into that as well. So, you know, collect it. We're, you know. Yeah, and everything feeds into everything else. I mean, exactly. People take from other cultures and religions. And I mean, really, I know. Like, yeah. look, look at the what the Catholics took, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Every, but I mean, we, you know, everybody, you know, takes from like the Egyptians yeah. and, you know, the. The Vikings, yes, and, you know, I mean, everybody takes from everybody else at some point, and a lot of the stuff, like you, when you read the myths and stuff, right, a lot of them have a lot of the same elements, and right. But we are here today to uh, focus on Yule or the winter solstice. Yes, that is the theme. Yes, the seasons of the witch. <laughs> that is, yes, that is the deck that you are using yes, today. Yes, it is. It's the Yule Oracle yes. by the Seasons of the Witch. Um, and it's uh, Lorraine Anderson and Julia Diaz. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually like all three decks that I have of theirs. Jen got me started with it with the um, Samhain deck. And then we got the Witch deck <laughs> last year. The which one? The, this or this which one. deck? Uh, this the Yule, Yule deck. Excuse Yule me. Deck. Yeah. I read the book on the uh-huh. you know so we and got the Beltane and then we got the Beltane this year. Right, and next year actually they're going to come out with the Mabon one. Yeah, and I can't wait for that. That's awesome because that's the that's the preparation up to the end of the year. That's the harvest. Yeah, that's the autumn. So equinox. we're yeah mm-hmm. we're we're preparing to go in to the night, the long nights. In the shorter days, so preparing the end of the year. Mm-hmm. But Yule... Yule is awesome. Yule is all about the returning of the sun. Yes. I mean, everybody... I think, for the most part, most cultures have some sort of a yeah a, a take on that. Yes. We're obviously focusing more on the Celtic, but... yeah. No, so I guess we're going to do some readings. I'm going to do an oracle reading. Jen's going to start off with a Lettermon reading. So, give a little shuffle to these cards. None of that. It's all right. <laughs> this is probably the latest we've ever done a yeah, episode, know, to be right? honest. I know, right? This is crazy. We were up again late. We were always up late. 
Hell, I didn't sleep for two days this week. Going on almost three. I finally passed out with my tablet on my face playing uh, TFT. <laughs> okay, so. First card. First card represents one thing that they are not being honest about. The star and the star. Follow the star for they know best. Not too light, not too dark. A shimmering of what is coming next. And what was it again? What they're not being honest about. Their true feelings. Light. Shimmering. The star. Um, see, in this picture, it's trees, it's outdoors, it's a star, it's a starlit night, most likely solstice night. Um, Yeah, I, that's what I feel like. They're just not being honest with their real feelings. Mm -hmm. um, they're hiding the feelings. Um, it's not something that they want to feel just yet. Okay. Like it's moving too fast. Okay. Hence the reason that it's not light, it's not too light, not too dark. Um, it's like, it's like having that inner pull, like, I want to, but I don't want to right now. Like, I, I it's what I would like to aim for, but I'm not, it's like, there, it, he's, there's conflict with it so he's not being completely honest with what's going on inside eternally that's just how i feel that's what i'm getting okay. right now um second card the second card is what can bring aw awareness and healing to this area feasting <laughs> he needs to eat more food <laughs> let us feast upon the nourishing and be thankful for thy feast nor here or there, yet everywhere it be. Um, this is not. This is not just in food wise, mm -hmm. though, but also in knowledge, um, understanding, feasting, allowing nourishment of knowing and accepting oneself. Um, and also, wow, I have a lot of stuff. Oh, I'm getting hot. <laughs> um, so when you eat food, you are nourishing your body. And I don't think this person actually eats like he should, mm -hmm. um, all the time. Or like he'll go all day without eating and then he eats at night. Mm-hmm. Um, which is not good. He needs to eat when he's hungry. Um, and not like, oh, I forgot, or no, I didn't have time. Um, but with what he's trying to learn or trying to do or trying to put himself out into doing, um, whether it's, dreams that he's trying to pursue but he doesn't know how to go about doing it so he's like looking mm -hmm. at videos or this and that to occupy his time because he's just not I think it's fear of the unknown because if you this is really I'm getting all of this it's like he wants to know. He wants to move forward. He wants to He wants to like put put himself out there, mm -hmm. but yet he's there's the fear and and um Will he be accepted? 
or will it be fruitful? Mm -hmm. Because it's not traditional for, for that type of, to have a lifestyle that you can just be happy and be loved and be free mm -hmm. and, you know, money's not everything, this is that's not everything, but just... You know, if what he will do, will it be enough for someone mm -hmm. and himself, you know, mm -hmm. and family, you know, how parents can be. Yeah. So, so he's not being honest, but yet he's got, in our, both of these cards give me internal conflict as mm -hmm. well, too. Like he's struggling. He's struggling to be honest with himself about how he feels about something. It could be a number of things. Because I think he has more than one thing on his mind. Mm -hmm. And this is about what what can I do to make my life more enjoyable and realistic, but still allow me to be me. So, third card. Mm -hmm. What's it? Third card is the, the most important thing that they need right now. Before I flip this card over, I just feel like it's love. Okay. Hearth. Home. Make your warmth take in the gazing home, or gazing flames upon the sh shivers they melt away. Wow. May your warmth take in the gazing flame upon the shivers they melt away. Well, home is where the hearth is. Mm-hmm. ties into the same thing. He to me this is love. This is your because to me home is where the heart is. Mm -hmm. So he I think he wants to be completely loved and accepted for who he is. Mm -hmm. But with this going on and this going on, can that be? But not just other people loving him, himself as well. Mm -hmm. Which I th think he is working on, but it's hard to say. Mm -hmm. I think he wants something that's his own. So... And you have to have, so like, feelings, job, whatnot, home. Mm -hmm. It's the fourth card. This this reading has got, I got so much shit going on in my head. I just don't even, there's so much more. I, I just... Like shadows, feeling dark, feeling like been in the dark too long. So this is like, do I want to come out? Going back to the first card, do I want to come out? Do I want to stay in? You know, did, it's just... Uh, <laughs> and I'm literally on fire when I flipped this <laughs> card over. I said I was hot, so... The fourth card. This this is this reading's got me going. So this is about himself. So this card is about how can he be more compassionate with himself. Oh look, it's the solstice card. All hail the cunning truth, in which it burns deep within root. Rise above the ashes and claim the gods are awaiting your glory, your name. He just needs to be true to himself. Love himself. Respect himself. And accept when other people see who he is without knowing who he is. Mm -hmm. And expresses love to him as well. He's got a lot of conflict. Like, do I do this? Should I do that? Mm-hmm. 
but a home, stability, love, warmth, being accepted, that speaks volumes. And this card to me is like the most important one because he's having a hard time with these. Mm -hmm. So, but if he can do this, it will tie it all in together because there is next year will be a year for him. That that's just all of this. If he starts to realize that he is a, a being of light, mm -hmm. even though he can walk in the shadows and he knows what it is to be in the dark, mm -hmm. that this card he will be able to determine what will be coming next what is the most what is the best positive positive step to take next it's finding the change which he I think is having the biggest issue with this here is one of taking care of oneself, food-wise, uh, health-wise, but also knowledge of what it is that it is that he wants to do in his life. So what you gonna do? What do you want me to do? What you gonna do? Doing a Leonard Mond reading. I know, but what you gonna do? You gonna do it on me? I'll do it on whatever you want me to do it on. Well, I just think you should do a reading on me. I think it should be what you are feeling inside right now. Because you know how I've been lately. Okay. I mean, your friend's been up for two days this week. <sighs> because this is a new deck, I am shuffling it a little bit. And then... mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Okie dokie. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Oh, these were so cute, though. <laughs> I love it. They're so tiny. <laughs> mm. Oh, my God. They shuffle really they're easily, really, too. Yeah, they're really easy. I love these this cardstock. I don't think it's covered in vellum. I think it's the type of cardstock that they use. Easy for cleanup and everything in case you accidentally spill something on them. They don't really stick to one another. And they just, yeah. This deck is so cute. I need it. I need all these decks you keep getting. I just can't keep up with you. <laughs> I can't keep up with myself. <laughs> oh, me, 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 me. Sure. That's the sun. <laughs> Getty. Krampus. <laughs> you got Krampus. <laughs> Krampus. Oh, that's nice I know. That's the fish. Me. Rider. Oh, God. The trolls. <laughs> yeah, I see you remember. Uh huh. I don't forget much. I just stamper over my words when I have a lot in my head. It's like when I'm channeling, it's like, what? Slow down. Oh, look. It's a wolf in the sheep's clothing. <laughs> oh, great. Arcana, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh -huh. the middle card yes. is the issue. And because we let it randomly pull, mm -hmm. the focus is on what will bring happiness. So I don't know if it means that you've just been feeling down lately. Mm. And then some, maybe. Because <laughs> you have the sun. Mm -hmm. So hopefully this reading will be illuminating for you. <laughs> I hope so too. Here comes the sun. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Here comes the sun. So which way do you want me to read it first? Do you want past, present, future first? Or do you want me to read it just top to bottom? However you want to do it. As long as it all comes out in the wash. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Okay. So I guess we'll start with the middle line. Okay. So you have the rider mm -hmm. and the sun. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is saying that you're getting you're getting happiness from like outside sources. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have the anchor. So it's basically it's stabilizing. Mm -hmm. So you're receiving your happiness from the outside. Mm-hmm. And it's creating stability. It makes you feel safe. And... <laughs> so that's what this line is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I guess we'll just read it from the top, and then I'll read this one here. So you have the beast, which is the bear. The yeti, yeah. Yeah, the yeti. Yeah. He's so cute. <laughs> he is so cute. cute. And you have Krampus, which is the whip. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Crack that whip! <laughs> and the fishy, fishy. So there's two different ways you can look at this. <coughs> Oh, excuse mm -hmm. me. Um, first way is, and, and I'm getting this because the bear, you can look at the bear two different ways. Mm -hmm. So the bear represents being in a motherly role. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the first way you can look at it is, and I'm doing the bear and the whip together. So mm -hmm. this could be that you're constantly putting yourself in a motherly role because the whip means that there's some sort of a cycle or pattern that keeps reoccurring mm -hmm. and um because the whip is kind of i don't like saying negative or positive but it mm -hmm. is indicating that this might not be a necessarily a good thing mm -hmm. so you can look at this as, as being like being always in a motherly kind of a role um, the other way to look at it is the bear can represent power mm -hmm. so being in a, in a in a position of power or authority mm -hmm. Um, kind of has the same thing, but in this one, when you mix it with the whip, looking at it that way, mm -hmm. it means that somebody is like being taken advantage of, or somebody is using their power to take advantage of someone else. Mm. So those are the two different ways you can look at the, at that combination there. Oh boy. And have it let you apply it however you'd like. Well, to I don't it. take advantage of people, but they sure do like to take advantage of me. So, I mean, you could, yeah, I mean, yeah. it could be, it, we don't, I mean, there's nothing indicating whether that's you or whether it's right, somebody right, else, right. but it's just saying there could be a, like a, a right. that there. But again, it could also be the motherly thing right. too, right? And I can be motherly. Because you do like to take care of people. I do. Yeah. I want to, I want people to be happy and healthy. And it kind of goes in with the other meaning too, where it's like, you sometimes you're just so nice and always want to take care of people but then you get taken advantage of too. yes so yeah um and then you have the fish mm -hmm. which is abundance mm -hmm. it usually is money but it, it represents abundance and in, in pretty much any kind of form but um so you have the whip and the fish and so this is basically saying that this is what's causing or I'm looking at abundance kind of as success in a way. Mm -hmm. um, I guess because we're, we're talking about a general reading. I mean, this could be money, but again, it could just be anything that you're, that you're wanting to happen, right? Mm -hmm. Anything that you want success out of. Mm -hmm. um, this is basically saying that this, this particular row right here is basically telling you, like, this is what's blocking you or keeping you from abundance keeping you from success is this so who who do i have to kick to the curb <laughs> <laughs> well maybe we'll keep reading and see if there's any other uh you know yeah. fun little combinations and things here yeah. the bottom line is you have the wolf mm -hmm. and you have the letter mm -hmm. the wolf represents friendship and loyalty mm -hmm. and the letter means that you're communicating with somebody mm -hmm. So there's communication via letter, email, social media, mm -hmm. stuff like that, with somebody who you're a friend with, mm -hmm. okay? And, but then you have the mice in the letter. So this means that the communication is, like, not constant or is, like, kind of maybe kind of going away slowly, like, over time. Or maybe it's changing, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. the communication is different. It's mm -hmm. not... That's what that line means. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's read it going this way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so your past is you have the, <laughs> the Yeti mm -hmm. and you have the Rider. Um, so, again, the bear, you have the two meanings of the bear. Mm -hmm. um, so if this is a, um, a motherly thing, 
Mm -hmm. So the writer indicates receiving some sort of a communication. Mm -hmm. It's different than the letter, but you're, you're receiving some sort of outside influence about something. Right. Um, so if you tie in the wolf here, it's almost like, it kind of reminds me, if you look at this line, mm -hmm. you've got a communication card here, right? Mm -hmm. This is also a communication card, mm -hmm. but the, there's a difference between the communication. This is strictly like written communication, whether it's on a computer or whether it's like physically written. Mm -hmm. This is actual like an exchange of information, like learning about something, mm -hmm. learning about another person, learning about something. Mm -hmm. And then you have these two cards that represent, I wouldn't say, I don't want to say people per se, mm -hmm. but it represents people in a category, right? Because you've got the person who's in power or the person who's the motherly figure, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have the person who's the friend or the person who's the mm -hmm. loyal person, right? Mm -hmm. And it's almost like, there's, there's an exchange of information. And again, I'm not sure whether it's only going one way or it's indicating there's there's information going between the two. It could be because the cards are together. Mm -hmm. But it's saying that there's information being exchanged about or to this particular individual, whether this is the motherly role or the person who's got authority, right? Mm -hmm. And the person who's the friend or the person who's being loyal. Right? Mm -hmm. So there's this information being exchanged. And this is indicating something that started in the past. Mm -hmm. Then you have this, which is your present. Mm -hmm. So you have Krampus, which is the whip, and then the sun. And this is indicating your current situation. And I think this is goes really well with your current situation, which is you feel like you're kind of on a carousel of like, you're not making any progress in a particular situation, mm -hmm. right? Because remember the whip is this like mm -hmm. over and over and over again, but it's like, you almost feel like you're being beaten down kind of because yes. it's like negative. It's yes. not, you're not getting anywhere. Right. Um, and the sun represents, you know, what's going to bring you happiness. So it's, it's very hard to remain positive when you have this whip Right. <laughs> there, right? Right. And then you have the letter. So this is indicating that it's someone's communication. There's something about someone's communication with you mm -hmm. that is causing this. Mm hmm <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. And then you have the future here. Mm hmm So you have the fish and you have the anchor. And this is basically saying that your success or your abundance is what makes you feel safe. Which, I mean, I guess kind of is... Well, abundance would yeah. make anyone yeah. feel safe. But that's basically what that's saying. Right. But I guess in this particular situation, this is definitely... It's making a point to say that, right? Mm -hmm. And then and this is your future, right? And then it says the mice. So this means that in your future, it looks like your security is going to slowly diminish over time. So if you were feeling safe... Um, and felt like you were making some, or had some success, that eventually will, you won't feel as safe. It'll slowly diminish over time. Well, this is not a very happy reading. <laughs> um, okay, let's, let's knight cards here. Do you have any, like, specific cards you want me to knight? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out who the loyal friend is. And why the communication will slowly disappear. Well, I mean, how many friends do you have? Oh, we have to remember, too, right? But uh, this... loyal friends. Yeah. How many of my friends are very loyal? That's what I'm trying to figure out. You know, because if it means loyal, yeah. someone who will be loyal to me, someone who's not... Because, see, a loyal friend wouldn't diminish their well, communication it, with me. Right. But, again, the, the, this could just represent a friend, right? Like yeah. It can, it, you know, it, it could be some loyalty in general, or it could be a friend. Mm -hmm. But it's somebody that you have already been... You already are communicating with. But, again, you have to remember, it's going to be somebody... It's not going to be me, right? Right. I know it's not me, because it's, you have the letter next to it. Mm -hmm. Me and you do not communicate via letter. We don't communicate via, via social media when we talk. 
No. We me talk and you are time. physically talking. So, like, right. if it was the birds, maybe? Yeah. Then it could be me, right? Okay. Now, Travis, but I, this is not about Travis. I know no, this, no. right? Because yeah. you don't see Travis, and I know you guys email and stuff. Like, that makes right. sense. I'm right. using that as an example. Right. But that kind of indicates what kind of, what kind of interaction you're having with this person. Mm. Also... Because you have this card here, the uh-huh. rider. Mm-hmm. This is also indicating that in the recent past, you were learning about this person. Because the rider indicates gaining knowledge, gaining information via some sort of news or communication, mm-hmm. right? So again, this is going to be somebody that you're like learning about. We're, we're having to learn a- about stuff. So like, for example, not me. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, yeah, we're learning about people all the time. Right. But... Right. There's not a lot that you don't know about me. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know what makes you tick. <laughs> so these are just kind of indications how you can right. kind of figure out right. what it's about. Um, but see, to me, this would be someone who I known less than probably two say two years. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I would say people that people that you still are like kind mm-hmm. of like uh, there's still stuff that I need to know about them. Like right. maybe I don't know their family, right. maybe I don't know right. their all their views about something. Right. Um and again, your this middle card is telling you what specifically the reading is about. What is, what is making you sad? Right? Currently. Cuz that's what the reading is about. There's mm-hmm. something that 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 is making you sad because the the sun is all about happiness, like positivity, mm-hmm. right? And with these cards, you know, you've got the letter here and then you have the whip. Um, it, there's clearly something that's making you feel bad, right? You're not mm-hmm. constantly happy. Mm-hmm. And, it, and it's saying that there's, it has to do with communication, of, like written communication. You know of damn sort. well who it is. I know, but I'm, <laughs> for the audience. I know. <laughs> I'm explaining. Mm-hmm. Um, but is there any cards that you want me to knight? Uh, like this one. Okay, so you you get both of these cards. So the letter has to do with the motherly authority figure here, and the fish, mm-hmm. which is abundance. So so basically, these two cards together mean that this communication. Um, is bring is giving you something, right? It's mm-hmm. it's making you feel abundant or making you feel mm-hmm. successful in some mm-hmm. way, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and then this making is just feel happy, in a sense, yeah, yeah, because you know if that's what makes you feel happy, mm-hmm. and then this is just indicating that the interaction, kind of like with these two cards, right? Mm-hmm. There's communication between this and and this mm-hmm. card, right? So it's just saying that this particular figure is. Also communicating, kind of like how this these two mm-hmm. cards are next to each other, right? Mm-hmm. The motherly figure or the person who who has the authority is communicating via written communication of some sort. Mm. Yeah. Um, let's see. Anything else? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Curious. So if you go up this way, you have the whip. So this is saying that the friend is who's basically whipping, <laughs> essentially, right? Mm-hmm. So that's what when you have those two cards, right? Mm-hmm. And then if you go, let's see, do do do, then you have the anchor. So this so this person is bringing st- giving you stability, but at the same time is whipping you. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Or you could say is in a negative cycle, right? Mm-hmm. But again, this is your reading, so they would be either causing the negative negative cycle or cycle or with you in the negative cycle. Mm-hmm. I guess. Mm. Um, the good news is is that you have if you knight the whip with if you knight the whip, you get the mice, right? Mm-hmm. So this is indicating that this situation will not last. Like, this negative cycle is probably not going to last. But the mice indicates it's slow. So it does. So you're not going to be on this, this carousel, like, indefinitely. It, you will slowly get off of it at some point. Yeah, but my thing is, is do I get off of it because the person goes completely away? Or do I get off of it because the person faces its fear? 
That's a different reading. We'd have to do it. That, we'd have to focus the question on ah! that. This is just what's causing you unhappiness, right? Because we just left it up. We left. We didn't ask a question. It was I know. Just, you let's le let's see what happens. I know. Right? I know. I know. So this is just explaining what's causing the unhappiness. Right? <sighs> Fucking men. So yeah, we'd have to focus the question on that specifically. And what's this? This one was knighted with these two, right? Mm -hmm. What's this one get knighted with? That one was knighted with the whip, the whip and the, the, and the, the anchor. Whip. So you've got this friend who is very stabilizing for you. And this you. got knighted with? That was with, uh, this one with and this cramp. One? I didn't actually read that one, but yeah. Okay. Um, this is indicating that um, you're going to... It's kind of like these two cards, right? Because mm -hmm. you've got, it's about communication, but it's different. Right. So this is less communication via written. This is saying that there's going to be slowly over time... You're going to start, you're, you're not going to know as much, right? You're not going to be learning as much information. Mm. Yeah, I guess that's it. I don't know what else you can do. Okay. It's just sad. You can't just trust people anymore. So anyway, yes, that is our readings <laughs> for... This episode, it's just a little Yuletide reading, um, playing around with some new decks, uh, well, a new deck and a deck we've had for a while. Uh, just giving us something to do, preparing for what we're going to do next year, and um, then, of course, you know, you'll get our podcast, the book series mm -hmm. we're still working on, so... And oh, and then the next one, right? The next yeah. podcast episode we're going to release is for the new year. Yes, for the so new year. So we're going to do a, um, a a look ahead, right? For yep. the for twenty twenty three. Yeah. We're going to do a reading for that. So that's what we're going to do next time. Yep. So. Say la vie. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so thank you for joining us on this uh, episode. We hope you have a, a great couple of weeks until the next time you hear our lovely voices again. <laughs> um, we appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for following. Um, just to put it back out there, we have a YouTube channel. We have a Facebook page. And we have an Instagram page. Um, I am slowly trying to figure out certain things and how I'm going to do stuff for that because Jen's too busy to do a lot of stuff. So, um, we'll just go from there and, um, and, uh, you know, see how things roll. So I forgot what I was saying because I have a lot of stuff <laughs> in my head. But thank you guys. Yeah. Thank you. We, we do appreciate you. We're like really, you know, like, Mind blown by... We almost have 500 subscribers. In oh, fact, wow. by the time we... Uh, this goes out, we might even have more than that, so... On YouTube? Yeah. Oh, nice. So, we do... We, we really do appreciate y'all. So... And we're still trying to figure out the video type thing. Um, well, we did release... We're doing the book uh, discussions on video, video. Now. Yes. So, um, but card readings, we're still trying to figure out how to get... Like us and then the, the cards. Ice, yeah, we, we got to do in two a nice different, way because yeah. we could figure it out really quickly, but I it wouldn't look great. We, we want it to be, you know, we want to get it. Just, well, I'm a perfectionist, so <laughs> and Jen is kind of like right up that alley as well. So we want to make sure that we have our all of our eyes dotted and all of our T's crossed before we chuck one out there. <laughs> so, but until the next time, please stay safe. Take care of yourself. Be happy. Smile. Love. You know. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Yep. Yeah. Happy Yule. Happy Yule. Merry blessed Yule. Um. Happy Hanukkah. I don't know what. Yeah. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy I don't know. Kwanzaa. <laughs> Whatever it is you celebrate it, may you enjoy it and celebrate it. Embrace it with as much love and light as possible. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> And if you would like to contact us, you may do so at our email, eclecticsoulpodcast at gmail.com. Our Instagram account is Eclectic Soul Podcast. Our Facebook is eclecticsoul.org. Our YouTube is Eclectic Soul. If you want to reach me, 
My personal website is Music and Mystery. My SoundCloud is the SoundCloud page, the soundcloud.com slash Jennifer Dash Feltman. My Facebook is at Music and Mystery. And my Instagram is at Music and Mystery. And if you would like to reach me personally, my Facebook is at Just Call Me Jin Jin. My Instagram is at Call Me Jin Jin or Look for Goddess. And my Twitter is at Jin Sullivan. Thank you and have a blessed day. Blessed be.